Hi everybody, Michael Hoover, East Coast Regional Sales Manager for DRV Luxury Suites. I am here at the factory in Howe, Indiana. I wanted to take this opportunity to show you a slight resemblance of what a DRV factory tour looks like to a retail customer. So obviously here at the factory, I'm standing in front of the frame. This frame just rolled in. As you can see, it's a triple stacked box tube frame. So it's a 15 inch triple stacked six inch tube on a six inch tube on a three inch tube. This is the heaviest frame in the industry. It is the foundation of what's gonna make DRV different. The other great aspect of our frame is going to be our upper deck. Nobody else in the industry is gonna build an all steel upper deck like DRV does. We have an eight inch box tube that's gonna run from the moment you get up to your upper deck all the way forward. Everyone else in the industry is gonna stop. They're gonna switch from the steel onto aluminum. As you know, aluminum and steel can't be welded together, so there's a weakness in the frame. Not with DRB. We're gonna have the heaviest frame and the heaviest upper deck in the industry. The other great thing about our frame that makes it different is we're gonna relocate all of our tanks. Typically in a fifth wheel, you're gonna find that all of your tanks are located above the axles, not for DRB. It's gonna be in inside what I call kind of our mechanical room. Anything you might need to work on inside the DRB is gonna be right here for the most part. So you have a 50 gallon black tank, 75 gallon gray tank, and a 100 gallon fresh water tank right back here. So here we are at the second station and I'm gonna emphasize what I call our mechanical room. Inside this area is gonna be a lot of components that you might need to work on. And we're gonna have two easy, huge access doors to get everything. Obviously right away, the first thing you're gonna notice is our all copper water manifold with individual shutoff valves. You're gonna have cold on one side, hot on the other. What this means for you, the retail customer, is you're gonna have, um, there's not gonna be a drop in the water pressure at each faucet. If for some reason there's a, a faucet or a drain that ends up having a leak, you can isolate that line that has an issue and still have water throughout the rest of your coach. With DRV Luxury Suites, you're gonna come standard with Moride Independent Suspension. This is the best technology as far as suspension goes within the RV industry. Standard what you'll find on an RV, typically a fifth wheel, it's gonna be a leaf spring suspension. What that is, is an action reaction type of mechanism. For example, you're at a red light and you make a right turn. If you hit that bump, that front tire is gonna go up on that curb. If you got out and you walked around, you'd look, that the back tire would be two to three inches off the ground and it's not touching anything. With independent suspension, that front tire is gonna go up on the curb and the back tire is gonna have no clue until it touches it. So for you, the retail customer, when you're traveling down the road and you're hitting all these bumps, this is gonna be a much smoother ride for you. With DRV, you're gonna have a fully structured subfloor, 16 inch on center insulated floor. And on top of that, you're gonna see that we have LBT vinyl plank flooring. This is not a linoleum that you see in every other unit out there. Each one of these is gonna be hand laid and hand glued onto the unit. If you were to damage one of these, you can actually just replace that single individual tile. Same things that you're using in your house are the same things that we're gonna use inside of this DRV. What is the best part about coming to the factory for a tour? It's being able to see the product as it's being built versus going on to a dealer's lot and seeing the finished product. You're really gonna see what makes DRV different. And our sidewall is gonna be one of those components that's really gonna drive us to be different from everybody else in the industry. We have the thickest sidewall in the RV industry at three and a quarter inches thick. We're gonna have a high density wool batten insulation in here. But the one thing that's gonna make this structure completely different from everybody else is the way that we build our sidewalls. We're not gonna use um, a weld like you would see in every other fifth wheel out there. We are going to do a mechanically fastened component. What that means is we're gonna do an L bracket with four screws. The concept is modeled after Boeing aircraft. If you're sitting on an airplane and you were to hit turbulence, what's that wing do? It flexes, right? Same thing with an RV, as it's traveling down the road, it has to have some flexing. Too much flexing is a bad thing, too little, is a, too little flexing is a bad thing as well. Here at DRV, all of our islands and our cabinets are all gonna be made with solid hard wood. What you'll notice throughout the industry is typically those uh, wood pieces that are connecting are gonna be stapled together, not with us. We're gonna take the time and we're gonna pocket screw all of these connections. This is maybe a 10 by 12, I can't flex it at all. I mean, it is, it is strong um, and that's what's gonna make the, 
the cabinetry, the island, all the wood structures inside the unit to have longevity. Here we are at the side walls. We have our high density wool installation. This is 16 inch on center. This is gonna be throughout the unit. It's gonna be on the roof, it's in your underbelly, in the subfloor, your front cap, your rear cap, underneath by the pin box. We are going to insulate this unit for hot weather, cold weather, wherever you plan on going. This is built for full time living. One of the best parts with us building a unit for you to live in is that we're actually gonna run our electrical through the sidewalls just like it is in your house. Uh, what's great with us being semi-custom is if you wanna add outlets somewhere, add lights, move light switches, we can do all of that stuff. If, at, if you buy a unit off the lot and you wanna add an outlet to a spot that, hey, the coffee maker's gonna go right there, that's where I need an outlet, you can tie into the outlets that we already have and put it in, in the unit. We're at the next station, we've already put the installation on. Now we're gonna put our, our sidewall on, which is going to be an Asdale composite fiberglass. Um, used to be in the RV industry, it was fiberglass with a Luon backer. Not with us, we're gonna do the Asdale. It's gonna be much more durable. Um, it's gonna be less likely to delaminate or anything. What you're actually seeing behind me is a brace sidewall. So before they pull this fiberglass over, they're gonna put Cicaflex on all the studs. It's gonna be a one piece that they're gonna bring along and they're gonna push it along to the side. They'll go ahead and screw around the outside and then put these braces on. These braces are gonna be on for at least 24 hours. That's gonna allow that, that glue to cure. For DRV, we're gonna have two slide out mechanisms. The first one's gonna be hydraulic. That's always going to be uh, typically your bigger slides, your main living room and kitchen slides, while the bedroom is gonna be a, a Norco cable driven mechanism. Uh, we're not gonna use the, the uh, Schwintech systems or anything. We're gonna stick to the cable. That's been uh, very good for us throughout the years. From the very beginning, QC is making laps as far as uh, checking the quality of the product and taking notes of things that might not quite look right. But this is the first opportunity where we're actually going to see it on the exterior of our units. You're going to start seeing red uh, markings and words on the outside of the unit. That is something wrong. This is going to be the one of the best things that I love about DRV is that if you make a mistake, you actually have to come up and fix it. Here we are at the end of the factory tour. This is our pre-delivery inspection where every single unit is gonna be inspected from the beginning to the end, checking all the water lines, the appliances, and making sure that everything works before we ship it to you. Every single unit that we build is gonna go through this entire process. It's gonna be a full day long of people going inside and outside that unit, just making sure that it is good to go before we ship it out. I wanna thank you for this opportunity to show you a little bit of what a factory tour is like. I encourage you to call me if you have any questions at 260-562-1320. I'm open for any of your questions, whether it's about a product you have, um, where to find a dealer, if you're looking for a certain floor plan, that's what I'm here for. We're only bu building 10 to 12 units a week, so what you'll find with me is that I have to be very retail oriented and there's nothing for us to be able to talk to a retail customer to talk about the product. You can call us directly here at the factory. Again, my name is Michael Hoover with the East Coast, 260-562-1320.